Yao, did you hear about the test Miss James is giving on communication software? Test. Again. I did not study. I am going to fail. She will be disappointed. Failure is not an option. Let's go study. We have a free session before class. Where should we start? Hum. Let's start at what is a communication software? I know what it is. A communication software is an application program used to provide remote access to systems and exchange files and messages in text, audio, and or video format between different computer users. I noted the key terms. Application program, remote access to systems, exchange files, in various format between different computer users. I am good with the definition. Me too. Great. What's next? The types of communication software, I guess. I know that one. Easy, peasy. Common communication software are email, IRC, VOIP, voicemail. What are those? I know what is an email. Me feel bright. It is a system where messages are distributed by electronic means from one computer user to another via a network. Email messages are usually encoded in ASCII text. However, you can also send non-text files, such as graphic images and sound. I can remember that. I know what is IRC. IRC is an open protocol allows users to go online at the same time and exchange text or audio messages in real time. RC servers on the internet accept and relay messages to connected users, each of whom is running an IRC client. Let me check my voicemail real quick. This is an electronic communication system in which spoken messages are recorded for later playback to the intended person. Voicemail systems make a phone system dynamic by letting messages to pass between users even when one of them is not present. You got that from listening to one voicemail? Maybe man bright. So we have studied voicemail, IRC and email. But what is VOIP? Let us check the notes in Google Classroom. That can work. VOIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. It allows for the transmission of voice and multimedia content over Internet Protocol networks. VOIP enables web conferencing to take place. So our Zoom classes would be a great example of web conferencing, as it allows us to remotely connect and offers features such as whiteboard, audio, screen sharing, annotation, recording of meetings and chat. I am ready for this test. How about you guys? Well, I am nervous, but I think I will manage. Thanks guys. As much as how, Miss James marks hard, I am sure to get 100%. Thanks team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Please subscribe, thanks, and like the video, thanks, and comment. First person to describe in their own words. What is GPS and Bluetooth? Wins a $100 credit from Digisa Law Flow. If I Google the terms and your response is exactly the same you do not win.